Many of the images and content you're about to see are unsettling and very shocking. But the most shocking thing of all is that teens everywhere are watching these images and are calling it entertainment. They're becoming one of Florida's most famous water skiing couples. Today, Twiggy and Ollie attracted the National Enquirer to their hometown of Sanford. Inquiry minds want to know why two talented squirrels are so popular. Ollie's got more outgoing personality and Twiggy's more introverted. But um, other than that, um, they're both squirrels. <laughs> Welcome to the Strange Tape Strange Show. This is episode number 16. And today we're joined with a very special guest, Mr. Joe Pickett. Thanks for having me on. The Found Footage Festival. Yeah. You know, when you called me for uh, to, to talk about squirrels, it, I realized it was the phone call I've been waiting for my entire life. So thank you, Scott. Absolutely. It's become kind of a custom here, before we get rolling, to watch a commercial together. flipper i almost brought that clip with me but of course you already had that one so <laughs> yep there it is droll yankee flipper did you notice that on that tape droll is in parentheses yeah you see it on the side look on the side why is droll in parentheses also what is with that name droll yankee flipper what the hell does that mean i have no idea it's a it's a bizarre tape in that it also just keeps repeating over and over again like it was yep. meant for a garden center store or something like that I, I think that's what it is yeah they would put that on and the and the probably a combo unit buy the product and then just let that play and i'll tell you what that would have worked on me you know if i if i were a homeowner that had a, a squirrel problem even if i didn't have a squirrel problem i would probably pick that up that's very entertaining <laughs> So yeah, we're we're gathered here to talk squirrels. This all kind of spawned from an episode of VCR Party. I was a guest on uh, episode number 217 mm -hmm. titled The Horny and Delightful Wizard. I showed a couple clips, and one of those clips was a guy by the name of Greg Bassett. It's this video oh. here, Squirrely Adventures. That's a hell of a find, by the way. That might be the find of the year. Oh, thank you. 2022. Actually, that's the the original. This is the one I released on VHS. Oh, so more about that in a second. Yeah. Before we go into that, let's watch a little, let's update ourselves on, on Bassett. I do not recommend that anybody else attempt to do the things that I'm seen doing on this tape. Squirrels can and do bite. I love that man so much. Also, he looks like he like works the honky tonk circuit, doesn't he? Like, yeah, total rockabilly guy. He is, but he's also a squirrel whisperer. That's this guy's right. fascinating. Is he still with us, or he's not still with us? Is he? Yeah. Sadly, he passed away. Before he passed away, he left quite a legacy. He started the Squirrel Lovers Club, which was a local Chicago land thing that spread to national and then it became an international club that's still going to this day. My release of Squirrely Adventures was actually officially sanctioned by the Squirrel Lovers Club. This oh. is not a not a bootleg. Fully authorized. Fully authorized. There will, there will be no lawsuits. When I came out with this this video over the summer, a really good buddy of mine, a good buddy of the zine as well, this guy named Bruce Longo, he was like, let me get one of your squirrel tapes, but don't send it to me. Send it to my buddy in New Jersey. And I'm like, okay, uh, sure, why not? And he's like, you'll see why. And he sent me this collection of clips. No way. Is that your buddy? Yeah. Oh. 
He certainly he got, did. Wow! Did did that draw blood? Did he did it? Was he hurt? I don't know. I don't think it did. Uh, it just kind of startled him. But as Bassett said in that little opening, squirrels, squirrels can, can and, and do, do bite. bite. This guy's name is Skyler Gehagen. He goes by Wall to Wall Creeps on Instagram. He's a cult movie horror video guy too, and just so happens he developed these bonds with these squirrels in his neighborhood. And he's got a whole backstory. He emailed it all to me, and I think he would be a perfect guess for a certain show that's coming up well i'm glad you brought, there, i'm but. glad you brought it up when you were on the show and we were we were you played that clip and then i had a squirrel story last weekend i saw an albino squirrel you had a squirrel story mostly squirrels nick had a squirrel story twiggy the water skiing <laughs> squirrel was there then i came back and i remembered another squirrel story and i feel like everybody has a squirrel story and you know we do vcr party we do found footage festival on our channel we of course have your excellent show we have lenora's midnight rental which is more of our horror vhs show it's all vhs based stuff is on our channel but i was like why don't we do something? Why don't we do a slight departure? We're still going to be showing VHS stuff on this, but why don't we do a, a sh an original show all about squirrels? Because everybody seems to have a squirrel story. And there's one guy who's a regular, we've been doing this show, touring the show since 2004, and this guy's been around forever. He has ferrets. He doesn't have squirrels, but he sent me a lot of squirrel videos over the years. And I was like, this guy, Dave Hawkins from Grand Rapids, Michigan, would be the perfect host for talking squirrels. We cut a pilot already. And maybe I'll show you some clips if you're interested. Uh, but I wanted to show you more about Dave, actually, first, if I can. So you know you're in good hands with this host. So this guy, Dave, he sent this video because he had gone to a sushi restaurant. He had had some shellfish, and I think maybe he developed an allergy to it, and his uh, lip got really swollen. And so he didn't know what it was. He thought maybe it was, uh, you know, maybe some negligence on the part of the sushi shop. So he, he recorded a thing showing his lip and explaining what had happened in case Case there was like a lawsuit or something like it got worse just got back from jacula sushi place <laughs> and uh as you can see my lip is swollen like a lot my gums aren't swollen my throat isn't swollen nothing else is going on it's just my bottom lip and a little bit of my top lip over here I had the Icelandic volcano, so I'll never have that again. So that's Dave. <laughs> that's going to be our host of Talking Squirrels. His credentials are that he he's a ferret owner. He he owns a couple ferrets, and he held a squirrel once, and that was good enough for us. Can I show you the intro for Talking Squirrels? Uh, we just finished it a, a few weeks ago, and I'm pretty proud of it. Dave's gonna talk about squirrels at length. Squirrels! He held a squirrel once. He comes from Michigan. Dave has ferrets. He does not have squirrels. Cause ferrets are longer and squirrels are stronger. Excuse me. Talking squirrels. The Icelandic volcano. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I wanted to call Icelandic volcanoes with Dave, but I, I don't think that that... I don't think that would attract. I don't think people would have known what the show is about. But... I think that could be another spinoff, maybe. Right. Yeah, exactly. This is the type of content that he'll be having on Talking Squirrels. You ready for Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Yep. All right. They're not as easy to domesticate as cats, dogs, guinea pigs, hamsters. Now, is a guinea pig or a hamster a squirrel? No. <laughs> Excuse me. So they're not exactly pets. A squirrel, af male squirrel, after mating, can use a non-seminal liquid to plug the female's vagina, therefore eliminating any chance of any competing sperm. Talking squirrels. The Icelandic volcano. Okay, so that, that's just a little sneak peek. So even in the pilot episode, he's talking about the sexuality of squirrels. So we're off to a good wow. start. Well, that looks fantastic. I can't wait for talking squirrels. I'm stoked. Thank you for coming on the show and talking squirrels with me. I really appreciate it. For sure. Thanks for having me on. And man, you're doing a great job. Like this, I love this show and you're just knocking it out of the park with the zine and with the show and everything. So yeah, nice work. Thanks, Joe. Until next time, keep it strange.
just encountered Joseph Pickett, our local ghost. Droll Yankee Flipper. non semen liquid Droll Yankee Flipper? Droll Yankee Flipper. Mostly squirrels. I'd love to come to your house sometime and take some photos of your gray squirrels. Though. Some say these big brown eyes have captured the crowds, but others insist it's all personality. Other than that, um, they're both squirrels. I don't know. I assume it's called a chicken drain, uh, where like the chicken comes through a drain and it got clogged up, and he had to unclog it. Uh, his cinematography is wonderful. Ha, ha, ha.